What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have a crazy amount of information about the Galaxy S24 series of phones, AI, pricing, features, and so much more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Let's first talk about the pricing. Are we going to see a price increase from the S23 series to the S24 series. You would think potentially yes, the way the world is going with price increases on almost everything. Well, it looks like it probably is not going to happen. The latest information coming out of Korea is that the S24 price seems to be frozen, aggressive sales goals. So they wanna set some really high goals and meet those goals and they don't think they can do it with a price increase. So it seems like they're gonna be not increasing the price of the Galaxy S24. 24. Now, something that they will be doing though, and this is AI stuff, this is actually really interesting stuff. So Ahmed is saying that some new features, they're gonna have circle search. You can just circle it and it will say automatic search on it. So I don't know if it's gonna be with just your finger or if you have to do this with the S Pen. I'm assuming it's probably gonna work definitely with the S Pen, but hopefully it works with just your finger as well. But you'll circle something and it will search for it. Have it be a photo or a, or a word or a saying or whatever you circle. That is pretty cool. I like that feature that could be coming in very, very handy. Um, with things, especially on a photo or something, something you don't wanna to have to take a screenshot of or uh, manually search for it to remember what it was, that's really cool. Voice recorder, so they have their voice recorder app. I actually use this app when I'm recording demos of my music, uh, or sometimes I'll use it for uh, a voice overlay. But basically in meetings, it, it can recognize and identify 10 different voices. So when you set up that voice recorder, the AI will kick in and break through and decipher who's speaking. It can do that with 10 different voices. That's gonna be really, really cool. So you can, I guess, put little marks on who's speaking, who's doing this, who's doing that. Also, it can translate the meaning as well. So if it's speaking another language, it'll translate it into the English, uh, English or whatever language, I guess, that you want in case you're not understanding it. Also, it writes it down, awesome, and it can make a summary for you. So this is really interesting, cool stuff with the AI, more stuff that's leaking out. That recorder app, which is amazing, it's seriously the best recorder app I've seen on a, on a phone. It has so many features and, it, and it's not hard to use. Um, adds additional features are gonna be very, very handy um, with meetings or pretty much anything that you're trying to keep notes of and then it'll summarize it for you as well. Check out this headline. We've been talking about emergency texting via satellite feature coming to the Galaxy S24 phones. It's been, we thought it was gonna come to the S23, it didn't. It looks like it is confirmed it will be coming to the S24 phones. iPhones have this feature, the latest iPhones anyway, and the S24 will also have, this is gonna be used when you're in a predicament. Maybe you went hiking in the middle of nowhere, you need support, there's no cell service. This will contact 911 uh, or wherever the name of the emergency services are where you are and contact them for you and give them your location so they can come and find you. So great little add-on. The last piece is this. This is some crazy information. Galaxy lineup and fold light related news. After the S25, which is gonna be a big design change, a new design code is set to be implemented and simultaneously, there are reports of the consolidation of budget lineups like the Galaxy A series. So they're gonna consolidate their, 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 their budget lineups, which is about time. They have about 7,000 different budget phones, so it's gonna be good for some consolidation. There is specific consideration to add a model to the existing FE fan edition lineup with enhanced performance, similar to the iPhone Pro, possibly a smaller Galaxy S Ultra. So we might be seeing a smaller Galaxy S Ultra phone that is thrown into that FE lineup. So that's gonna be pretty cool. This is what I'm excited about. The Galaxy Fold Lite model exists in two prototypes currently, one with out an external screen and one with a smaller external screen than the Fold 1. I'd actually like to see it without the display on the, on the front there, just to really knock down the price of that. I would actually love to see how low they can get the price of that. I think that would be amazing if they're able to do something like that. And then currently there is a significant debate regarding the timing of introducing this model. The likelihood of it entering the market is high, especially after the Fold 6. Furthermore, if a light model is released, there's a higher probability of having only one model rather than both a Fold and Flip model. So a lot to digest in today's video. Uh, I'm most excited about the Fold Lite. I, I wanna see that phone get 
drastically reduced, have one huge display on the inside. You don't even need the outside display reload. Just put a little tiny display on there. Um, and then a smaller S23 or 24 Ultra that has maxed out specs, but is small. That's cool as well. So a lot to look forward to. What do you think's the coolest story from today? Let us know in the comments down below and why. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.